We are saying goodbye to a man who played a vital role in the history of our station. Harold Crump ushered in a new era of broadcasting for Nashville and even gave us our name, WTVF. Crump has just died at the age of 91. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders talked with a journalism legend about Crump's impact on the city of Nashville. Going into the News Channel 5 archive, a folder can't even begin to cover the story of someone like Harold Crump. But in here, you can get a few highlights of why he was so important to Nashville. Perhaps one of the best people to share Harold's story is someone who knew him well. A voice you'll find familiar. Harold was the heart and soul and face of Channel 5 for years. Longtime News Channel 5 anchor Chris Clark. He was, in my way of thinking, a real pioneer. Harold started at 5 in 1956 as a local account executive. By the early 70s, he was station manager, while Chris was both anchor and news director. News was a different world then. The 6 o'clock news didn't have any visuals that happened after 4 p.m. because you had a process to film and edit it. Harold had what was at the time a very bold idea. He wanted his station to break out of whole broadcasts contained to news studios and report from the field live. That was a totally foreign concept. It was, it was like he was speaking a foreign language. Harold understood the language. He wrote the language. Who would think of something like that? Harold would. You will see the strength of news reach far beyond your own walls. A lot of people thought, what a gimmick. What a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. It's the, it's the standard for the world now. He came across with the one camera that worked, made in Japan, got it for Channel 5, and Channel 5 became the first local station to broadcast live. This was a revolutionary moment. The next years brought amazing memories for Harold and Chris. There was meeting Charlton Heston. And I was standing next to Oprah. And he walked in and Oprah grabbed my arm and said, oh my God, Moses has come. <laughs> but nothing could have been more important to Harold than this. Harold had a good friend whose son had muscular dystrophy. Harold wanted his station to help people with the disease. All of our phones are busy, keep them going. This is a great way to start off our telethon this year. Chris started hosting local cut-ins to the National Muscular Dystrophy Association telethons. They caught the attention of Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis came down because Nashville became such a big market. $1, we had a first million dollar telethon and that was a real, real rush for me. It all just came together under Harold's direction. He's kept in the background and like directing a great orchestra. Harold left News Channel 5 in 1981, muscular dystrophy remained an important cause for Chris as he volunteered at MDA summer camp. They were so sweet. And I knew what their future was going to be. And I had to help. And Harold felt the same way. And to this day, it just touches me in a way that not, nothing else has. They were just great kids. They were my kids, too. Harold last paid us a visit about a year ago. You changed it to WTVF. Mm -hmm. And why did you do that? Because I thought that would be a good way to promote it, Television 5. TV 5. With Harold's death, Chris tells us his friend leaves a legacy of both pushing a business forward and helping others. He was the man who put Channel 5 on the map as far as I'm concerned and made it the institution that it is today. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. Two incredible guys right there, Forrest. Thank you. Crump also produced many syndicated shows, including Candid Camera and Hee Haw. Yeah, he went on to serve, by the way, on Muscular Dystrophy's National Board of Directors. Had the honor of meeting him a few times uh, over the years. A class act, an innovator, and, you know, we stand on his shoulders now. All Just an, an incredible legacy. I know you're thankful for it. I'm thankful yeah. for it. And just people who come after us as well.